assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make the stylish front flipped job and if you are just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button for more videos like this and tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so without further ado let's just get started for this tutorial i'm working with one yard to one meter fabric and luckily for me my fabric length is 70 inches instead of the normal 60 inches so i'm working with 70 inches by 40 inches just a fabric then i have my tape rule, ruler scissors then my straight pin and then chalk so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two and i'm folding i had the 40 inches length part so i have 20 inches there in fold and i have the length of the fabric which is 70 inches So the next thing I'm just going to do is to cut out my back hijab length. So for my back hijab length, I want it to be around 30 inches. So you can increase or decrease yours depending on what you want. For, for this tutorial, I'm working with 30 inches. So I'm just going to mark 30 inches to the other edge of the fabric. And then I'm just going to cut it out. So after cutting it out, I have my back piece and I have my longer piece for my fronts. So I'm just going to put that aside. Then coming to the back piece now, I'm going to take my head circumference measurement divided by 4. So my head circumference is 20 divided by 4, so that's 5 inches. And I'm not having any allowance because naturally just the fabric is stretchy. So I'm just going to mark 5 inches there. And then from the 5 inches point, I'm going to mark a line to the last edge of the fabric so after taking the line i'm just going to come down by 20 inches in the line so for the diagonal line i'm going to come down by 20 inches and then from the 20 inches points i'm going to connect it to the other edge of the fabric After which I'm, I'm just going to trace out my marking. So I have this for my back piece. Then coming to the longer piece, which is about 40 inches long. So the length of the front piece is about 40 inches. So I'm going to take my head circumference measurement also, which is 5 inches. And then from the 5 inches, I'm going to mark a diagonal line to the last edge of the fabric, the same way we did for the front, for the back piece. So after which I'm going to come up from the down part by 2 inches. And that's just to give the front part the hijab curve. So from the 12, 2 inches point there, I'm just going to make a slight curve to the edge of the other side of the fabric. After which I'm going to trace it out. So we have our front hijab piece already. Then from the pieces remaining, I'm just going to cut out my hijab cap from it. I'm going to fold it into two after which I'm going to fold into four. I've done this so many times in my other videos. So you can check to understand more on this. So after folding into four, I'm going to take my hijab cap length, which I want to be 10 inches. 
since my x circumference is 20 so divided by 2 so that's 10 inches and then for the cap width i'm using 4 inches so i'm just going to make a curve to join the two points and i'm going to cut out After which I'm going to notch the midpoint. Then coming to having the jack piece now, this is the back piece. Then I'm going to place the front piece on it and I'm going to start plating. So basically I'm plating the diagonal line of the front piece to the diagonal line of the back piece. So I'm just going to start forming plates. And I'm pinning it down. So I formed the plate of one side already. Then if you are new to sewing or you don't really know how to form uniform plate, I'm just going to explain the process now. So for this part, we have 20 inches for the back piece. So I'm just going to take my tape and I'm going to mark one inch interval. So I'm just going to be marking one inch to the 20 inches points. If you know how to form your normal pleats already, you can just ignore this. If you know how to form your uniform pleats. So I'm just going to mark one inch to the 20 inches points. So I marked it all for the back piece. Now for the front piece, we have 40 inches diagonal line there. So I'm going to mark 2 inches interval to the 40 inches points. And this is because we want to form exactly 20 pleats. So I'm just going to mark 2 inches interval. Then after marking this, so after marking this, I'm just going to start plating by joining one inch at the back piece to the two inches at the front piece. Then I'm just going to start forming my pleats. Just look at what I'm doing, you get it. So I'll just attach one inch there to the two inches points, then I'm going to form plates. And I'm just going to continue that way till I form all the 20 plates we want to form. It can be a little tricky, but I still get it. So I'm just going to continue forming plates till I get to the last edge. So I'm done forming plates at both sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to secure the stitch. I will just take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch on it. So I'm done. And that's our pleats. So I'm going to notch the midpoint of the hijab. And I'm notching at the back piece parts. So after notching, I'm just going to take my hijab cap. And I'm going to attach it to my main hijab piece. right side facing each other and I'm going to start pinning from the notched parts
I'm just going to pin it. And then after pinning, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it. And then for the lower part of the jab, you can either hem it or just take it to your overlocking machine and just overlock it. So this is the finished look of our hijab piece. I hope the tutorial is easy enough. And this is just me trying it on. And if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. And if you have any question, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. And if you have suggestions for the channel also, or you have a tutorial you want me to make, you can also drop it in the comment section. Take care. Bye.